Hi everyone, this is Saisa. I'm coming to share with you my 2012 Christmas cards I've made um, and just some of the stuff I used. Um, I started off making some simple cards because I was going to do a craft show and then you know things happened and decided not to. Um, one of my things is when I when I craft I don't do the same. Um, I try, I don't know, I don't like keep doing the same. I'll do the same style but I change something of it. So like in this case I did these cards and you see I use different spell binders and stamps for them. But they all kind of look the same but they have different, you know, they're a little different. Different shapes and different stamps. And these are what these look like. And um, I have some of these here. What I used here is a Tim Holtz um, die. Um, what's the name of the die? I should have been ready with the name. I'm sorry. I used this die. Which is the... Wow. <laughs> what's the label dies? So I used these dies um, for the cards. And what I did was I, I put them inside. And then I used some stickles to put on the, on the period. I don't know if that comes through on the camera or not. And my sister gave me a good idea. She says, you can use that on the outside of the card. So most of my cards have this on the inside. Different colors and, you know, but pretty much same shapes. And then I decided to do some cards with it on the inside. Here's some green ones. Again, the same idea. Um, a little bit the same, a little bit different. And these are rub-ons I had from last year. And again, here's... Oh, this is I use a different spell binders, but then I started using. It's easier just to use the Tim Holtz one because um, I can do multiples at a time. Where I use the spell binders, I would have to do it individually. Um, I made these cards. Not too crazy about them because these are really big. They, I think they're five by seven. Um, the tree I used I got from Target last year. The after Christmas, the ornaments. I don't know if anybody goes, but the ornaments are like. 70% off so I got tons of ornaments like for 10 cents and a quarter so I thought these would be cute and again I did the same stamp on the inside but after I made some of these I, I noticed that they're gonna be too heavy to mail they're too bulky I guess they're actually um, good to give in person so I'm gonna give those to my daughter and um, what I use on most of my cards is I use this paper which is my mind's eye or Christmas tree and I used um, Kane Company Yule Tie. Um, the plain card stock I just used miscellaneous, some paper company, um, anything I pretty much had. I went to Goodwill and um, I found this stack at Goodwill. So I used this for my boo cards. Um, a lot of my die cuts I used Brenda Walton's um, Kane Company. I used um, hers. I actually again got it in Michael's last year after Christmas. Um, this is the stamp sense I used. It's the Fiskars, um, what is it called? Vintage Christmas. And I love it. I love this little ribbon and I love these trees. I use that in a lot of my cards. Um, I'm sorry, I'm moving the camera. My battery's blinking. So let me quick show you the, the cards. Oh, here's an um, example of the flowers I did with Spellbinder's die. This is the die I used. Oh, sorry. So what binders I do use, and then I use this die for the card makers. Awesome. I just ordered the A set because I love I loved the B set. I couldn't get the B because it was sold out when I ordered it. Um, and here's the stamp that I, I told you I used all the times. It's from Recollections. It's this one here. Excuse the glare. <clears throat> and what else can I show? Okay, let me show you what I did. Oh, of course the cards I used. I got these at Joann's, the David Tutura, they're the glittered ones. These are awesome cards. The stock card side is very thick. Um, the glitter is great. It's awesome to make cards. And I love because if I don't want to embellish it too much, I don't have to. I'm sorry, my battery died. So I charged it up a little bit. I want to share with you the cards I made. Here's one. Um, Again, using that um, stamp I showed you, um, put it in the front, and I'm just going to go through them really quickly because um, I don't have too much camera life. Sorry. So here, for the tree, I used the Martha Stewart Tree Punch. Um, 
this one I actually used this die and I used the spell binder I show you for the flower um, here's the same flower again oops sorry it goes this way here's the uh, you know, I'm coloring this is actually the first one I colored but I figured she looks pretty I didn't want to go um, not go to waste so I've just got to keep practicing my coloring this I used last year's paper I don't want to use it too much because Again, I use it all last year, and I make between 30 to 40 cards a year I have to send out. Here she goes again. Again, trying to do more flat. So, um, I saw Rena's um, Scratchress video, and she showed this Martha Stewart punch, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Here she is in purple. And as you can see, um, I, like I said before, I don't like to make the same. Um... I try to, but it's um, not in my nature. So like for this card, I thought it came out pretty. You know, I used the banner I cut out on the stamp, practicing using color stamping. Um, but of course, it, each shape's a little different. Um, and I have one more. Actually, I was just filling this one out. I'm going to use this one. So here it is out of the bag. And this is, I stamped it just on colored paper. So that's what that looks like. Whoops. And then this, um, again, the past few Christmases, I don't know if this is showing good, sorry for the glare. I used this um, cuddle bug embossing folder, which is um, called Lace Tree. It's awesome, but I can't use it too much because um, I've used it so often on my other cards. But I love it the way it comes out. Um, and here's some more. I have to hurry because I don't have much of a battery. Um, Here's using the die cuts again. And do I have it upside down? Yes, I do. Um, so um, this card, I try making it a few times. But of course, different ways, different shapes. Here's another one of these. A little bit bigger shape. Here's the same flower. Um, I was really liking this flower, but I can't do it too often because I notice it's very bulky. I have to fix that. So mailing it was going to be a little bit tough. This is a rub on I used, some ribbon. So then I remember the postage. I have to try to keep it light, you know, flat. This is a Martha Stewart embellishment. Again, here I go practicing my color stamping. Um, this I used an old Sizzix die I had and then I embossed it. Not too crazy about it, so I figured I'd try it. Um, sorry. Here's that Spellbinders flower again. Some more embellishments. And here... I would love to put more bling, but then I realized the weight, so I can't put too much um, bling. But as you can see with these cards, it's, it's so easy to um, to make them because I don't have to embellish it much if I don't want to. Again, this is part of that Barbara Walton's die cuts. And then here's a, a Martha Stewart stamp I had. Um, a Dove stamp I did on, and I stickled it. Here's a candy. Here's the, the ribbon I stamped again saying Happy Holidays. This one, um, the paper is like this. This is the paper we, I got it Tuesday morning about two years ago. Um, this is like stamps, Martha Stewart punch. This is um, Tim Holtz, Merry Christmas stamp I have. And the snowflakes, I got these at Target last year. And um, you know Target has the good sales. So here again, the, the middle parts are part of that um, Barbara Walters, um, Walton's embellishment. And then here, this is a Sizzix die I got from my sister. It's a snowflake die. So I try using it with different um, paper. Same concept. Again. So it's like, okay, I have to keep trying to make the same. But as you can see, I tried I traded it up a little bit. Here's another one. And um, that is it for my cards. Um, I haven't really counted them, but... I have to mail my sister because I'm gonna I'm gonna share her send some to her, and then I'm gonna keep some for myself. So I probably have to keep making some. But um, that's it. Um, um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And um, thank you for watching. And talk to you soon. Bye.